Hello friendos, it's Bella from the Bookish Badger and today my brother Q and I are going to the bookstore. Hi. There he is. Hi, I'm Q. So you're gonna follow us there, it's gonna be a vlog, woohoo! Look at all these books I want to read. I'd say... At least 50% of these are on my to-read list. I use too much flash on the camera. Self, this book exists. Ah, I just got a good dive of chocolate sample. I love chocolate more than I love most things, I have to tell you. Chocolate and books. Can this day get better? Probably not, but we'll see. Do I have money to spend on chocolate? Not really. Am I gonna look at the prices anyway? Yeah. Yeah, I am. That was exceedingly delicious. Would recommend. Why did I succumb to the taste test? This little box has six truffles in it. It's $14. The big box with 24 truffles? is $52. Why am I so weak? Hey, this is what I'm reading right now, except this cover makes it look like the Maze Runner movie. Woohoo! Thomas Jefferson's coming home. I've been in France meeting lots of different ladies. I guess I basically missed the late 80s. There would have been nothing left to do for someone less astute. He would have been dead or destitute without a cent of restitution. Started working. Working for his late mother's landlord, trading sugar, cane, and rum, and all of the things he can't afford. He's scamming for every book he can get his hands on, planning for the future. See him now as he stands on the bow of a ship headed for a new land. In New York, you can be a new man. Alexander Hamilton, we are waiting in the fields for you. You can never back down, you never learn to take your time. Okay, I'll stop now. So, my problem is, is that I want to read all of these books so bad. I've heard so many good things about so many of them, and I don't know which one I want to pick up today in my heart. But also, like, okay, do I want to just pick up a book without knowing anything about it and just read it like a total cover read? I might do that too. Decisions, decisions. Can we just agree that YA fantasy covers are prettier than most covers. Like, look at the gorgeousness. Do you see, do you see, like this book? I've never heard of this book before, but it's so pretty. It makes me want to read it. I, I haven't even read the synopsis, but I mean, come on. I saw this book at the library the other day 
and I think it might be the prettiest cover I've ever seen. Have you? Oh my goodness, it's it's gorgeous. It makes me want to read it, but I know it's at the library, so I can order it from there. Ah! Hey Q, what books have you gotten so far? intending to pick a book, sit down, and read it. But, so far, we've been here for two hours, and I've just been browsing because I'm a pro at this. Can I just live here? I'd just like to live here so I can read all of the things and browse as much as I want. They have comfy chairs. They have food. Do I need anything else? Well, I guess I should move my family here too. I don't want to live without them, so, you know. But other than that, there's everything. So, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Uh, Q and I went to grab our snacks. I had a delicious chocolate cupcake and he had a croissant and I saw my friend walking over. I haven't seen her in forever so it was great talking to her but you know, old friends who haven't talked for a while of course we're going to talk a long time so we talked for a while and it was awesome but that means I did not accomplish my goal for the day of reading a book, Giraffe. We're going to be leaving in a little bit to get some dinner, um, but I think I'm going to read a chapter of Adam Silvera's new book, uh, They Both Die at the End, because I was actually telling my friend about what I'd heard about this book and how great it sounded, and it was making me want to read some of it too, so I said, you know what? I'm going to read a little bit, so we'll see how it goes. to my <laughs> other friend. This one wasn't as coincidental as running into the friend I ran into before because my friend Sophie here texted me and she was like, hey, are you still at Barnes and & Noble? And I was like, yeah. She's like, well, can I come and say hi? And I was like, yeah. So this is my friend Sophie. Hi, hi YouTube. And this is my friend Phoebe. Hello. Phoebe Fashions Co. on Etsy. Go check it out. <laughs> she makes great stuff. Ooh, like. Her, her book charms on yeah, on point <laughs> and there's a guy who works here who I was in a show with so I just keep running into people I know hey hey do you, do you want to see something funny do you want to see something really funny so my friend Sophie and my brother Q both get loot crate right or they got loot crate for a little while so check out check out Sophie fashion fashion and then Q they're twinning it's beautiful. I love it so much. Hashtag twinsies. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I got about 40 pages into They Both Die at the End, and it was really good, like, way to intrigue somebody with the first few chapters. And we are going to get going now, we're going to go grab some dinner at a buffet. So that is our closing of the day at the bookstore. just 
got out of dinner and it was really yummy. Right, yeah. Q? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Chinese buffets. Yes, for life. <laughs> I had a very good day. How about you? I, I had a very fun day. Yeah, I got I got Stephen King books and I got a comic and I read a comic there for free. And I really enjoyed the 40 pages of the book I read and I am really excited with the book I bought, the baking slash cookbook. Maybe I'll do one of these again in the future. Who knows? I had balls of fun. Woo! <laughs> we... Barrels of fun. But Barrels of fun. I said balls of fun. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm holding the camera now. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up, do not hesitate to subscribe for more content coming soon, and I will see you in the next video. Bookish Badger, signing off.